What's going on, everybody? Welcome to our first in a long, long line of, I'm sure, Magic Online Cube Giraffes. I got real excited when I just saw this because I was like, oh, dang, 30 tickets, sweet. Not quite. And then I realized there's a cube draft. Uh, this is the Legacy Cube. If you were interested, you can check out the Wizard site and uh, see what's in the Legacy Cube. No power here. Just just good, wholesome, mid-range games, uh, which, is, which is pretty fun. I'm, I'm a big fan. Mike B is sitting right here. Unfortunately, and um, wow, what are you what are we picking here, man? Um, I kind of like Hornet Queen. Hornet Queen. Hornet Queen. Oh, that's a Hornet Queen. But I also like Blood Red Elf. Oh, and recently unbanned. You don't like first picking Hee Haw Mouth? No. Okay. It's way too much black man. Okay. Okay. Follow us 007. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the uh, the the live effort. New Zealand. Yeah, time zones are definitely weird. You are probably, what are you, 12 hours ahead of me or something ridiculous? I think it's either Bloodbraid Elf or Hornet Queen as well. I agree with those. I think Bloodbraid Elf is the stronger, or the, I think Hornet Queen's a stronger card in the cube. I think I just want to commit to the Hornet Queen, to be quite honest. And we're going to go green for the first draft, I guess. Oh, Whisperwood Elemental. That's a that's a fan favorite. And by, by fan, I mean me. I'm a, I'm a fan, so it's my favorite. I don't know anyone else who likes... Yeah, Lafof actually beat me in our in the in the third round of our draft when we were both 2-0 with a Hornet Queen. So that was that was good times. I actually uh I shouldn't have picked this because now it's just and now it's just triggering me. Triggered. Tr triggered is right. I need that Ethan that Ethan Klein triggered triggered meme. So I can This is assemble the Legion. Is that good? It's pretty good. I do like Whisper Elemental. I don't want to go three colors though. I don't want to just pick the Naya card, man. And there's no like, there's no enabling. There's no uh, like engine cards in here. You're saying you deny it? It's good to have him back, ladies and gentlemen. It's good to have him back. I want to take this Whisperwood Elemental. How about that? That's fine. I don't think it's the most powerful card, but ooh, how about this guy? Is it Marari's or Sylvan? Well, they still can't, still can't get the get the art on the Planeswalkers, huh? Too much to ask. It was only four months ago, and the other queue was up, so that makes sense. Pretty late up, people. Actually, it wasn't four months ago. It was probably, I don't know. Without knowing what's in this cube, I don't know if if it's an upheaval cube. What if we take it, and there's literally no... There's no artifact, man. That's pretty bad. It's either it's either library and stand color with a really good card, or Marari's Wake. I think it's library. Wake is so good with both of these guys, though, right? Yeah. You don't know, you don't want to be, you of all people don't want to be waken. Wake makes queen of three three and little cuties two twos. It's true. Yeah, that ain't wrong. I want to take the wake. I think it's a stronger card. I'm surprised you would. Have, I'm surprised you of all people would have put Sylvan library in front of wake. I think Sylvan library is a stronger card. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Show you the wake. <laughs> Is it Knight of the Reliquary? That seems like a good one. Let's us play different colors too. I am woke. I thought I was woke. I thought I this is this should be called Marari's woke, and then it could I have I was woke, but I was wrong. Oh hi Mark. I wasn't woke. Ooh, was there an Embarrow rights in the last pack? That's interesting. What are we taking here, man? Night seems fine. Knight seems okay. I'll just take the knight then. I almost said that like like surprise. Like knight seems fine, and then I realized what you said, and I was like, "Oh, that was a completely reasonable thing to say." I guess. Do what now? Are you just banishing light. I made the Marari's woke joke. Oh, I just treated to Sarah because she said it. S look at Alan. Alan's like, I I need to get credit for the Marari's woke joke. Thank you very much. Got to get that credit, boy. I like birthing pod, but. That's another card that I'm like, I don't know how easy it is to actually assemble the pod. The pod. The pod chain. Banishing light? Is it just banishing light? It's decent. Oh, Quacker 2000. What's going on, man? Yeah, good times. That was a great night. I had a blast. You guys were super, super awesome. I'm going to just take banishing light. That's a card I want to have all the time. Oh, this is a thing. That is a thing. A little bloom tendy. 
It's like chicken tendy, but a little, a little different. It's, it's similar but different. Bloom tendy is pretty good. You're, you're pretty good. Thank you. Did you know bloom tender is like kind of expensive in real life? Really? Mm -hmm. What's a bloom tender go for? I think it's a Tarka, right? A Tarka is the strongest card in this pack by far. Yeah. Alan, you said I can share credit though, and I thought you said I can share credit card information, and I was like, "Wow, don't do that in the chat. That seems like a bad idea." One six five four eight five five. Oh. <gasps> hey, there it is. Oh, that's exciting. Me and Mike were just talking about how they added this to the cube. It might just be the pick too. It's another way to win the game. Do we have a way to churn through our deck and get get down those seven cards? Like we can shuffle it. That's not good. <laughs> you don't want to be shuffling after an approach. I mean, you, you'll hit it. Yeah, but it's 40 cards, not 60. So your odds of hitting it again are much higher. You still don't want to be shuffling. You don't want to be shuffling. Is it just Rishkar? So we ignore this and just play Rishkar? Rishkar's pretty good. My problem is I'm scared of the... Uh, oh, Overgrown Battlement. That's not bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll take that. Could have also taken Declaration there, but I think... Oh, the Bloodbraid Elf came back? Okay. So far, I'm okay with all of these, and having a Blood... All right, I guess we're just... I guess we are Naya. I guess we... Sure. Is that better than Glorybringer? Probably. Yes. See, look, another stupid dragon we could take. That's true. I guess they are just big, dumb dragons. That guy's real good. Is it Karma Guide? Sarah, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. What is it? What's the pick? I like dragon. You like dragon over karma guide? Yeah. <sighs> over Avacyn too? I'm gonna take Avacyn. I don't want double red. I don't want. I, I don't want double red. We we'll got all our fixing. Two lands. Yeah. Why don't you grow up? I'm just gonna take this guy. Oh, lightning helix. Ashley, what's going on? Oh my god, you're awesome. You are the best. Everyone's the best. So many bests. That was pretty sweet. I did not expect to see you here, buddy. Oh, look, even that. Look. Fits right in. It's actually not like terrible with the Mirari's Wake. Oh. Hey, what up, are we Are we a cradle deck, though? We have play creatures, so yes. What'd you say? We play creatures? Yeah, so yes. Is that how that works? Yeah. Is it It's not Wooded Foothills? No. It's Guy's Cradle. Is it Cradle? Have you ever played with that card? Yeah, but then there's times where we don't have the one mana dude or... Sorry, this is the Legacy Cube. It is definitely not the, like the, the full power Holiday Cube or Vintage Cube or whatever you want to call it. I like I, I like Wooded Foothill here. I also like Thrag Tusk, Thrag Daddy. I'm gonna take the Cradle because I'm gonna trust you. But this is better for like Knight of the Reliquary and a Mary Archangel or Mary Angel rather. Can you play with Guy's Cradle. <sighs> yeah, but I don't know how many one drops there. Are. Like we're more of a mid range deck than a Swarm the Board deck. Whatever, man. I don't think it's Cradle here. <sighs> I I'm, think... going, I'm going home. Oh. <laughs> Is it Temple or Bird of Paradise? Ooh. I like Bird better. This does turn Wooded Foothills into a tri land, though. It's true. Also, does this cube have dual lands in it? Because I haven't seen one yet. Yeah, Knight does grab Cradle. Ooh, That's pronunciation true. for dummies. Thank you so much for this. I really appreciate it. You are awesome. Knight does grab Cradle. Mm -hmm. That's true. I do like God Pharaoh's Gift, but I seriously think it, it will come back. I'm going to take the Bird, even though I really want the Temple Garden. 420, the best. What is this? What are you posting, Alan? How do I... I want to click on that. <laughs> oh, it's literally the best. Yeah, that's that's amazing. All right. I'm the best. I'm the best. Oh, look at this in Tomart. It's pretty sweet. It's just swords, right? Uh, I like Huntmaster. Yeah, swords is better. Swords is better. I hope this or this or this comes back. Do do do, do do do, boo do 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 do. Is Green Sun Zenith better? 
No. Really, it gets a birds, an overgrown, a knight, a blood. I guess blood breath. You don't want to be getting. Oh, are you sure it's not green sun zenith? Yes. Oh, are you? Sh- All right, whatever. I don't. Mm. Nah. You already passed the cradle, man. Can't be passing no swords, too. I guess so. No one cares about green suns. Wow, dude. Come on. Why are you the way that you are? Is that a good Nissa? This is yeah. Um. Uh, mm. It's not as good as the previous one, I think, but it, I think it's still pretty good. Return and permanent from your to hand. Make a 5-5. Five, five. You know how it goes. Do, do, do. I do like Reclamation Sage a lot, though. Yeah. It's probably Sage. I think I think uh, suggesting that it's Sage is pretty Sage-like, so... This might even be main deckable. I don't know. I think we have to play this cube. I get confused by the different iterations of cube, so I actually forget what's in what's in it until I play it a few times. I like Grook here. Yeah, I like Grook better than Dreams Tournament, especially if we didn't take the uh, oh, Cradle. <laughs> do, do, do. messed up. Noble Hierarch. Oh, Windswept Teeth. Oh, oh, Taiga. There is dual lands. That's pretty sick, actually. Okay. Is it Taiga or is it Windswept Teeth? We have a lot of red green fixing already. But we don't have anything to search for them. Right? True. I'd rather have a green white fetch, though. We're more green and white than we are red. Yeah, you're right. But Noble's pretty good. Only taps for white and green, really, for us. Right, but those are our main colors. We only have three red cards right now. True. Plus, we have all this red in this guy. It might just be Noble Hierarch. Oh, I don't know. It's six, five, four, three. I'm going to go with Hierarch. Swag, 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 swag. Is this Elspeth? This is a good Elspeth. I feel better about taking one of the four drops now that we have uh, birds and noble. Birdable. You want to? Hey, 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 baby! You want to take a ride in my birdable? My convertible. That's a little play on a convertible. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I'm just making sure. Is it's Elspeth, right? Did you get my joke? It was about the convertible. Well, did you? Yes. You think Master's the easy pick here? Over Elspeth? Elspeth's pretty good. She's she's basically a better Amiri Angel, I think. Oh, Stirring Wildwood? And a Mystic. Oh. How many how many one mana dudes do we take before we regret the, the cradle pick, right? A million. I'm so happy that GT knew the best song. Yeah. Do do do. What did you say? What did you think it is? Is Elf? Um, I kind of like Wildwood here. Over Elf? I like that's for green, man. I agree with you. I think I think it is Wildwood here, because we can we can it's a creature lane we can search for, and Elvish Mystic is pretty basic. Well, Drag turns out came the back. Cradle did not table. I didn't think it would. Did you? I, I just, was hoping. I want to just windmill slam a Thrag Tusk. I didn't think it would, but I could hope. Oh, that's, Armageddon. Huh? That's a good one. Are we an Armageddon deck with Marari's Wake? Yes. No, you just want to always be Armageddon Because it's broken, dude. If you're Armageddon someone, the game's just over. Really? Really? It just ends the game. You're, you end the game. I think it's just... Is it just Baneslayer? Are you, do you really want to take Armageddon? I do. I took it because of you. Oh, Huntmaster came back? That's good. And the Roast came back, but I think it's Huntmaster. Even though our four drop's getting a little aggressive here. Is it Huntmaster? Or is it just Roast because we don't have a lot of removal? Um, I mean, we have Swords, Lightning Helix. That's pretty much it, though. Yeah, I'm going to take the Roast. I think Roast is probably a little more... I don't think we need more three drops, either. We'll take the Nissa. Actually, this is... I have trouble using it as a second ability, though. None of these cards are exciting. We'll just da, take da, this. Da. Bo, bo, bo. Are we a Genesis Wave deck? Oh, a Domi Raid. All right. We're definitely a Domi Raid deck. I don't know if we're a Genesis Wave deck. What does Recruiter get here, I wonder? Is it Toughness? Oh, it can get a Bloodbraid Elf. Uh-huh. Hero Blade. Oh, Karn? It's just Karn, right? And then we hope Sylvan Carry added or Utopia Sprawl comes back. It's got to be just Karn, right? 
Um, yeah. It's hard to tell it's a Karn because he's real shy without the planeswalk. But then when it comes down here, it has the art. I don't understand. No one does. I haven't. Um, our deck is pretty fair, but like it's legacy cube, so it's not. You can't do. So that most of the decks are fair. Yeah. Yeah. There's like maybe the reanimator deck is a little unfair, but that's I'm pretty sure. It. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just a fair cube. But it's fun because they're powerful fair cards, right? Like you got all the good, the most powerful fair cards. So it's dirtily, but it's good dirtily. I'm gonna take the Chandra. You gotta pass that Ashiok. <sighs> it doesn't feel good. I am also so glad we're not drafting rivals. I started liking rivals more toward the end, but it's nothing compared to a cube. Avalanche Riders? No way, Jose. Sarah, why why you why you do this? Well, if it ain't our good friend Frankie Le Leopards and Mikey Mikey Barbobly Boo did a good old dr a Dratterino, huh? Okay, okay. Until you pour down your drain, Dratterino. I want to take I want to take old Chandra. Oh, I like Nissa Basswoods here. Yeah. Over Eugene. Eugene's pretty good, but he's also eight mana. I don't. I can't. I'm on a ramp, dude. We got Rishkar we'll Overgrown. We got two of these dudes. Maybe that's the correct pick. Eugene is pretty good. I think it's Eugene, right? Mm. I think there's. I, Sarah, I'm definitely. I'm. I'm definitely uh, well aware that of your of your desire to blow up lands and to play red cards that blow up lands. I want to take. It's either Nissa, Eugene, or Tireless Tracker. I think. I think Ugin is by far the strongest card. See, having when you say Lefovre, Lefovre, I think you're trying to put me off of taking Eugene because I have Karn. Saying I have Karn actually just makes me want to take the Eugene even more so they can be friends. <laughs> I think it might be Tireless Tracker, though. I want to take Tracker. I think it's a stronger mm. card. No way, dude. It's 100%. <laughs> this, this is way better than Tracker. It's really? close. If we're going to take a... Yes. Oh, wait. We took the Tracker. Dang it. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to do that. I just it actually I just ran out of time and I didn't even realize it. Should we take Nahiri here and hope we get an Emrakul? Maybe. I was thinking that. Wait, is Emrakul even in this cube though? I don't know actually. If it's oh it's legacy cube, not modern cube. Oh, also we do have we have Knight of the Reliquary with Tracker, which is insane. That's pretty good. I think Tracker is gonna draw us more cards. I think I think Tracker might be a little better than Insta, but I think it's close. Did we say Nahiri? There's nothing else in here, right? Yeah, nothing really. We're not going to take a Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf is the biggest trap in cubes. It's almost comical. Oh, we got a path. Inspiring Vantage is good. I like path. Is Hunter getting mad? Are you getting mad? He sounds real angry. Are you angry? You said you like path? Mm hmm I don't like three drop Nissa. So. Actually, I do. I think she's good, but I don't think she's a pick here. I like Vantage or Path. I think it's just got to be Path, right? Mm -hmm. Thrun is good games. I like Thrun. How many Sean? Oh, Razor Ridge ticket? That could be good. Yeah, let's take that. Wall of Omens? Wall of Omens goes with our uh, Overgrown Battlement. It's true. I do like having more fixing, though. And on turn one, this does let us play a guy, which uh, which the red-white one didn't. Yeah, we'll just take more fixing. We also have 28 cards, so we already need cuts, so I'm not too worried about getting more dudes. I think a Johnny's a good one, though. Yeah. A Johnny, does this count or, uh, sorry, does this count as, as land destruction? And, and, and I had to pass a Mystic Snake, which is my one of my favorite cards of all time, so. I think we play a Johnny over in here. Yeah, if we don't have the uh the creature. If, if we don't have any any Oh, that's a really late sword. It's a good one too. This is a bad Elspeth though. Yeah, it's the worst one. I, I don't need Kadama's reach either, I'll be honest. That's actually pretty good for our deck. I agree with you. I think it might be better than the sword here. But sword we can put it on like a bird or a noble hierarch. What are we taking here? Is it sword? It's just sword, right? I guess. 
So many people, some, it's like literally half ramp, half sword. I went, with, I went with the ramp. Oh, we just got another sword. It's not a great one, though. No. I'd what did they... Hero. What else did they want to come back? Utopia Sprawl, what else was in this pack? Uh, there's another green ramp spell. I forgot. Nick Sprawl's good. Oh, with Sylvan Carry added. Thank you, Alan. Appreach. You like the like Sprawl? Yeah. I do, too. I don't think we need more... We might not even play it, but I don't think we're playing Hero either. I tried to cut the... I actually cut this double red card. I don't know if we're playing Chandra either, just because of the mana commitments. We have three cuts to make. I like Outpost Siege. I think it's fine for a one red card. It does. It's actually very similar to Chandra, I think. Easier to cast, too. Oh, I like Sun Titan a lot, though. Sun Titan's pretty good here. Gets back a Banishing Light. Any of our duders. Gets back Domri Raid. Gets back Knight. Tireless Tracker. Yeah, I like Centering Titan here. Those are our only six drop. I'll just take this. Yeah, free fixing. Mine, mine as well. All right. Now we need some cuts. We do need more two drops, but we're trying to just go to three, I guess. I think we can cut Roast now that we have half sword. I think we can cut Rishkar. Probably. Because we don't have enough dudes. Is Domi Raid going? We only have 12 creatures. Probably not. Probably not. Oh, all right. Switching, switching sides there. Chandra or Outpost? It's probably Chandra's probably better, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's just better. She's harder to cast, but... 20 fall. I'm, I'm worried about Bloodbraid Elf hitting like one of these and not having a good target. Yeah, but I think it's still worth. Yeah? Because we have like four removal spells. Because you can always wait on a Bloodbraid Elf. Like if you're worried about cascading into removal, you just you just hold up the Bloodbraid Elf. I guess that's true and you can just make it a removal spell. I think we cut one of these five drops. Not this. Probably not this. I think it's just Archangel Avacyn. I don't really want to cut creatures. Yeah, I guess that's true. Nissa Vital Force. This is kind of a creature, though. Nissa is kind of a creature, and she can also get back a relevant permanent, like a, like just get a Sun Titan back or like a, in a Johnny Vengeance. All right, we'll cut Nissa. I think she's probably one of the weaker dudes. We also have it's twelve creatures, but we do have Elspeth, which makes guys. Garrick, which makes guys. Like Whisperwood makes more guys. I think we're good. Yeah, Avacyn's, Avacyn can stay. I also like the idea of flipping Avacyn. She's very good. All right, let's see what we got here. Man, our first... Uh, red... We get the red white line. I don't, do I like this? Yeah. All right. I'll trust you. I'm going to laugh when... How many... Let's, uh, let's put the count at how many times we're going to draw an inspiring vantage when we need a land that comes into play untapped and it costs us the game. That's the question. You're salty already, man. We haven't even played a game. <laughs> so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm okay with that. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seems fine. So ten, seven. Three, four, five, six. I would cut one of these and add another one of these. So four, five, six, seven. And two, three, four, five, six. So ten, seven, six is what we're looking at here. Do, do, do. Yeah, that seems better. Plus, we have Noble Hierarch and Birds, which add two, two to everything except for one red. All right, let's do it. Cut Karn. Nobody likes Karn. Wow. Wow. Why are you the way that you are? Locating opponent in stage one. That's the joke. They're all in stage one. I Oh my god. Why, Alan, seriously. Why did you get this song stuck in my head, dude? You didn't even really listen to it. I didn't have to. You know?
Oh, look at this beauty. It's not. It is not. Why are they using these basics? That's weird. These are ugly. Uh, I'm going to mulligan. So this much is, better. This is better. I'll even leave you on top. So then we can play this guy. And then play this and get two clues. I don't know if that hand would have been good if it had an inspiring vantage. I think it would actually be pretty terrible still. Because then it would it would still have five lands. Uh, what was it? Five lands, lightning helix, and what else was the last card? Uh, I don't remember. Well, it's it was a long time ago. I understand. Maybe it was like a path. It might have been a path. Oh, it was swords. Yeah, so, so like a path. What up, Bjorn? Oh, oh, I see. Real. Oh, the, the, we're just playing against the the green white ramp deck as well. I see. I'm on the, doing it better. On the bright side, our tireless tracker should be good here. I don't foresee this guy dying. Famous last words. Mountain bolt. Burner. -ner. You got Tapster 2, man. That's broken. Right? Acidic Slime. Cut off a land. No, oh, that guy's also good. I'm bad. What if we hit Bloodbird Elf? Get two clues, Bloodbird Elf into, like, Sword. That'd be pretty, pretty good, good, right? Yeah. Ugh, we have no... Oh, this is why you want Temple Garden. This is bad. All right, I'm going to crack this. I want to keep a green up, but if we draw Lightning Helix, like... <sighs> I want to be able to kill this guy. I guess it doesn't matter. We can just make a thing now. I mean, well, no. What? What are you going to say? There's nothing else we can really draw outside of Lightning Helix. Right, but we have more cards that we can draw to play. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. Hey. That's pretty good. That's real sad. Mike's the best. Well, no, yeah, we could draw swords. We could draw path. Like, there's plenty of cards we can draw, but I, I was using... I was trying to figure out what land I should keep up based on what we could draw. Lightning Helix was the only card we wanted to draw that we could play off of these two. But there's several cards we could draw if we keep up a green and play, like a Bird of Paradise or a Noble Hierarch or something. Bird of Paradise. I don't even know what I'd actually play it if they have Master of the Wild Hunt out. Sure. Getting flicky. You know the best thing. What are they gonna? They gotta. Hit? It's gotta be. Oh, you're gonna get rid of tireless tracker. Well, that's unfortunate. That is pretty good. That was a good play. And you got more, huh? Should have not cracked the fetch before the first crack, so you could decide if you wanted to fetch a red or a green. Uh, I don't... I wanted to minimize our chances of drawing another land, so that's why I did that. I only really needed white anyway. Great. Mm-hmm. His board's pretty good. It is actually. I got my forty-four ounces of soda pop. Well, it's not forty-four ounces anymore, bra. Was it like thirty-four ounces now? Probably. I guess we just wait and play Avison, right? got flash how does she flip again 
Uh, when a creature, what does it say? When a non-angel creature control dies, transform at the beginning of the next upkeep. Also, if Avacyn just flips. It's like, pretty much closes the board. Yeah, they get to keep two walls. That's pretty good. Oh, hey, Grandma. <laughs> so I love it. It's your resident grandma here. It's your resident grandma here. Oh, God, here comes an attack with a million dudes. Oh, nope. no million dudes. Okay. Just flip Chester. Flip Chester. I don't know what that means. It's like Chuck Tester. Is it like that? Oh, Lotus Cobra. Okay. Old Lodi Bodie. Yep, that guy's also fine. <laughs> it's awkward because if we crack one, they can just kill it. I actually don't know why but they then didn't... then we can respond by flashing in it. Av no, wait, we no, we don't have the mana, it. though. Dang it. Drats. Oh, drats. I'm pretty sure we just let him go. Because we're hoping to hit, like, if we hit a land, we can Sun Titan, so. Sure. No one cares. Well, now I actually get to kill both wolves, I guess, because we're dealing four. So that's actually pretty okay. Why would I ever do it like that? Never. What did that say? Did something come up and just disappear? Oh, damage remaining. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We got rid of two wolves and we drew like three cards off this guy. That's pretty okay. Land that comes into play untapped. Alright, that's pretty good. So we just sun tight and get back like tireless tracker. We could. Or we can play this with the hopes of Dragon Lord of Tarkening next turn. That also seems pretty good. We can also Ajani and kill this. Yeah, that thing needs to go. Yeah, next time we can Atarka and just like go oh, three, one, a million. Three, one, a million. You know what I'm saying? All right, Johnny's going to die. That's sad, but we're going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we go to 11. This is literally just going to be my head forever now. Probably. Interesting. Inter oh, to it. Yeah, just in, just in case. All right, so we actually take less. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four. They have seven mana right now. That's pretty scary. You get tireless tracker. Oh, you get master level humpback. Sure. We have a new target. A new challenger. Not bad. So we could slam a target, kill Master, plug your whistle. What are you saying right now? Alan 420 again. To help with the song stuck in your head. Oh, God. What is this? Hold on. I don't know what this is. I will listen to this later though, because I don't know if it's copyrighted and I don't want to get no. Um, what did you say? Just play a target. What does kill it kill things. though? Uh, kill a master, flicker wisp, and cobra. I guess that's pretty good. Ba 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 ba. Actually, we could leave the flicker wisp. We could just kill. It's still the only things we can kill, though. We can kill this and just a cobra, so we're going to get one extra point. <laughs> I don't really want to kill kitchen things. Kill, uh, the the uh, karma guy, yeah. Yeah, but I'd rather than just pay the five. You know what I mean? Like, I'd rather than waste their turn doing that. And if they don't, then if they kill it anyway. Ba, 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 ba,
That seems better. I want to kill this guy, but he's still only a 4-5, so... That was a pretty good turn, I think. Now they have two two irrelevant dudes. One card. We have seven, six ma monstrous cards. Oh, yeah, their board looks significantly better right now. For us, not for them. For them, it looks like sad tears of sadness. Jimmy, what kind of fish is that? What? Where? Right on your desk. Oh, this? This is a lionfish. What's he lying about? I, you know, that's a good question, Michael. Do we just sun titan here? And we can still keep up path? Seems alright. Or we can, yeah, next turn we can we can attack for eight here. And then next turn just kill them with a Elspeth plus. Yeah, that's good. I guess we'll attack here, and we'll hope they don't have their own... Hey, Alan, it worked. It did. You, I, got that other, I got that other song stuck in my head. Barely even listened to it. I didn't need to. It was catchy. I think it's designed to be catchy. Or is Thragtusk just better here? No, we don't need Thragtusk. We can also just get Wooded Foothills back next turn, too, which is great for a tracker. All right. The time is now. God, Atarka's such a beating, dude. 8-8. Eight, eight. Adam, I don't even know your name. How could I be on a first name basis with you? See what I did there? Mm -mm. Blade Splicer. Sorry, I missed it. Don't you eat lionfish in Florida? I mean, I would I would know that because I'm your grandma, but it's a dementia. <laughs> Listen, grandma, you should know that I don't even eat fish, so... Bom, 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 bom. I hate you, well, Alan. Dementia, so. I hate you, Alan. Well, this game is over. Uh, you can jump your Sun Titan for cool points. Oh, Nephrium and Adam are both Adams. Two. I was actually thinking of jumping the Sun Titan. This game looked real bad at first, and then we played like Atarka, and then it looked real good. I like Roast here when they have all those stupid idiots. Wait, we're not playing Armageddon? How dare you? Their deck How is real good you? against Armageddon. What? Their deck is actually good against Armageddon. Yeah, that's fair. Bom, 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 they were pretty bom, fast. Bom, 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 bom. Oh my god, so many atoms in the chat. What is happening right now? It's hyphenated. Frank Adam. Uh, we, we go by Fratum. I don't know if you knew that. What do we cut here for this one? Do we cut Chandra? No. Bloodbird Elf? No. Johnny? Avacyn? Oh, maybe. Chandra's a little hard to cast. Fine. I don't know, Alan. If I looked at you, the first three initials of your... The first three letters of your screen name, I would assume it was Adam. Adam. Bum, bum. Uh, has it no. No. No! No! Bum, 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 bum. I'll keep this hand. I don't love it, but I don't hate it, so that's cool. What are you doing, man? You doing a little tap, 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 arena? Yep, lead with that, I guess. Krizistoff. Um, this, well, this chat went off the rails, that's for sure. Oh, Roasty? Roasty McToasty? Alright, so next turn we will get a, uh, a mountain with this. I just want to let you know that, um, someone named your boy Fuzzy Slippers has just entered our chat. And I really like oh, it's your boy Fuzzy Slippers. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, you're gonna blink your own. You blink your own Thalia. 
Oh, you're going to blink your own Savannah. Savannah. My middle name is T. Giuseppe. Uh, the T is silent. Then why did you say T. Giuseppe? Why don't you shut up? Do you ever think about that? Do you ever, you ever sit there and think, man, I should really shut up? Get roasted. Roasty toasty. I am your boy. I agree with you. No, no lying about that. Oh, a regrowth. Oh, wow. A regrowth into a Thalia number two? Whatever. I'm a, Oh, if I Blood Braid Elf and Cascade into a removal spell, I can't cast it. I can't cast an, an Elspeth either. Good lord. Yeah, Thalia's pretty good. If by good, you mean annoying. That is what I meant. I guess we could hope to hit a creature? No. I don't want to take fast. five, though. I guess we're going to do it anyway because we're not blocking. Oh, we can just block with Wildwood if they try to attack me. They'll forget. That thing's got reach. Boy. Actually, we can block either one of their guys with a wild one. That's pretty gas. Yep. Probably Sally, though. It's pretty annoying. Do we just get to eat a Thalia for free? Wow, that is gas. Hot gasoline. I guess the gasoline itself wouldn't be hot, right? You just it makes things it's it's an energy energy thing that does the thing. Are you dying? I hate you, Alan. I didn't want to hate you, but here we are. What's the play here? Keep up Avison? Thrag Tusk? I feel like keeping up Avison oh, they're never gonna attack though, not anymore. Could be Thraggy. Thraggy with an Elspeth next turn. That's a, that's an eight in the air. Yeah. What do you do? You're not even... You're not, what are you doing? What are we doing here? Are you falling asleep? Yeah. Oh, my God. Too much chicken parm. Yeah, that was a, a, a highly... Carb filled lunch you had there, buddy. I'll pu I'll play Thrag Boy. He's the best. Because if we hit if we play Blood Breed Elf and it ends up getting like a oh an elf or something, they can just easily kill it. So it's pretty bad. Also, our deck seems to get to seven mana pretty easily. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. No blocks. This stupid. Flicker Wisp is getting on my nerves, though. Is it flickering your Wisp? It already flickered my Wisp. My Wisp is so flickered right now. Are they got one card? Why do we always have, like, six cards when they have one card? Because we're a slow deck. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. So we can hunt this dude? Or we can pat... I'm going to pat this guy. I'm doing it right now so that, uh... Obviously, they don't get another wolf out of it. Don't get another wolf? No more wolves. Is it blood burner? Oh, actually, we can probably eat this. No, they're not going to attack, though. I guess we just play Avacyn anyway, right? Could yeah, just attacks for five. Oh, or not. Well, I guess we could have. I don't know why I didn't, actually. Uh oh, something's happening. Sure. Sure, you got it. Here we go. Mike can't stop yawning. Welcome to it's four o'clock in the afternoon. Mike woke up two and a half hours ago. He can't stop yawning. That's the show. That's the show we're having right now. <laughs> the show I have every day. I just want to let you know that I'm the FBI agent currently assigned to monitor literally everything you do. Say hi to your mom for me. Nice lady. Well, this is getting awkward. I'm uncomfortable right now. All right. BB elf. Oh, that was a good one. That's a hit. Well, we're not attacking with Thrag Tusk now because I don't want to just run into a Kitchen Finks. Pretty sure our opponent is not ghosting. Anyone who says just great to play against you, just notice now. Like, those are usually not the people who are going to scum you. That's what you think. But also, the reason I say that is because... Um, like, we, we already blocked Athalia with the Stirring Wildwood, so they know it's there. Like, they have no reason to attack. 
they're not going to attack into a stirring wildwood. Oh, that's pretty good. I think we're dead. What do they get? Oh. Yeah, that's a lot. I'm uncomfortable. Oh, actually, it's only three dudes, though. What is this, 25 damage? And we have 13, so we have to block 12 of it. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow. Wow. Try about one. Wow. Are we... Is this exact? 3, 4, 5. Block you. Wow. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10. And 2. We take 8 and 5. It's exactly... Well, yeah, it's exact. That's really sad. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Wow. I don't really think there was anything we could have done there. Yeah, we go exactly to zero. Dang. That's pretty ridiculous. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Burr, 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 Problem is knowing burr, burr, about it doesn't really help. You don't really help. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we can keep keep them off their creatures. So like if they have creatures. Even if we went to like one there, we're probably just dead. Uh I don't think so. We want to have them what, play Karn? Yeah, but we would have had a three three from the the th the Thrag Tusk. Mm hmm we would have killed. We would have traded with the Crater Hoof Behemoth. So their creatures would have been like a two-two wolf, the Flicker Wisp, and um, the Kitchen Finks that is already has a counter on. So they okay. have three dudes. We would have had one from the Thrag Tusk. So we just said we'd have to deal with like two guys. It's pretty hard to do though. No, I'll keep this hand. What are you doing over here, man? You're getting real intimate with this this mic stand over here. Yeah, dude. it's real weird. Are you high right now? Maybe. Okay. Well, it's awkward. You jealous because I didn't get you a marijuana cigarette? Uh, closers, we could have actually we could have activated night, but we we just played it that turn. So, what did you say? Am I jealous you didn't get me a marijuana cigarette? That is what I said. Why would I be jealous of that? I don't know. Oh god, just checking. On a scale of one to ten, what do you guys think Mike's weirdness level is at today? What would you What would you put it at? You think? I'm going to say 400, but. So we have 420, 11. Don't do the marijuana. 11 is bad for you. Blue potato. 11, teen. 420, Tuesday, negative 16, 25. <laughs> oh, my God. Who microwaves grilled cheese? That's not a thing, right? Right. That's why you're that high. That's like, that's probably higher than 25. It's probably higher than 420, I would imagine. <laughs> that's just hot bread with melted cheese. Mike is the poster child for don't do drugs, kids, and he doesn't even do drugs. Having just watched a bunch of backlog on YouTube, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put it out of don't touch my spaghetti. Okay. Somebody touch my spaghetti. Well, they're natural ordering now, which is good because it's, so it's probably, probably not a creator. Of... Okay, that would be sad. I don't know if, if Progenus is in the cube. If it is, we're probably dead, though, right? Yes. Okay, well, that's awkward. Isn't he always like that? Probably. Yeah, I would say so. This guy's really thinking about his target. What? That's got to be a waste. We're just going to path that guy. I was just going to think of land, land, Bloodbird Elf. Actually, we can go land, Kodama's Reach, blood, uh, Swords. That seems pretty good, right? Yeah. And we're going to attack first because if we don't, they're going to... Uh, they're going to block. Are they, yeah, so we can we can attack and, and then pump if they don't want to. Cool. This looks like we made it. Do we still have a double red card in the deck? I don't think so. No. We do have a triple green card, so I'm just going to take two forests. One. Two. A one. A two. Get out of here. 
Get out of here. This is a lot of a lot of clues. I'm I'm a real detective right now. If we get Frank kicked off YouTube, maybe he'll stream more. Wow, that's fantastic. Oh, that's real sad. Oh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you just ramped me a carn? Boy. Mistakes were made, my friend. Mistakes were made. I'm just going to exile one from your hand, because I really don't care. I'd rather have just Karn at 10. I learned how to do the pot from YouTube. Confirmed. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, a Banisher Priest? That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. So now your hand is Master of Puppets. It's pulling my strings. Master! Hey, look, they're going to play a thing we can kill. All things are things we can... Uh, what? Oh, they regrowth the natural order. Or the... They regrowth... Yeah, okay. Wait, what? They're countering their own... Oh, okay. They're... Oh, I was like, what's going on? Okay, that's classy. Yeah, people who mana tie their own spells as a joke, they are not the ones that are ghosting. No, but it's a great play. They could have gotten Craterhoof and just attacked for, for six. Hit Karn for six. Yeah. Yeah, I guess then I just exile it, and then it mm. goes to... Karn goes to one. Yep. And then I get a card on board, and they have no cards in hand. That's probably worse, I guess. Puppet Master is a movie that gave me nightmares that made me make pee-pee. It's good to know. Oh, well. Hmm. well, we're up a game. That's pretty good. Oh, do we play turn one bird? Or turn one stirring wildwood. It's gotta be bird, right? Bird into reach. Brrr. Bad company till the day I die. I was born with a shotgun in my hand. Were you? Yeah. That's weird. And a marijuana cigarette in my lips. How dare you say such things, Sarah? How dare you? You got a marijuana cigarette in your lips? Yeah. Where did it go? Home. I had... I had a marijuana cigarette in my lips. Where did it go? Home. It went home. His marijuana cigarette went home. Well, where else is it going to go? Well, I would like to draw not lands. That would be cool. Don't. Lightning Helix, that guy. I would never do that. Well, they don't have another dude in their graveyard. Yep. It might be the play. Look, I did it anyway. I don't even care about you. It's aggressive. Could have also just waited, untapped, and blocked it. I could still do that to their next guy. Like oh, this. Look, it's I battery can... dude. Battery dude. Oh. See, that's a good draw. I'm going to get aggressive. This is pretty aggro. Well, like, they're tapped out. And they're probably going to attack, so we'll just kill this. We'll just swords this idiot. <sighs> Mountains. Bad company. What the hell was that? I don't know. What do you think it was? It was like a pup. You're like a pup. I haven't received the Siggy yet, Mike. Are you sure you didn't smoke it and hallucinate that you put it in the mail? Maybe. I can't confirm or deny. I think the only reason... Oh, that's real sad. Irrelevant, but sad. I'll turn to draw 7 drop. Oh, that's very good. Why do you talk like that? Why do I talk like what? Why Why do I talk like a what? Uh... Like water? What? Huh? What? Are you drunk right now? Every day. Oh, wow. Necrotol and Chupacabra. We're having a good time. I'm having fun. The two twos that could not be beaten. Well, actually, Frank, Necrotol is a 2-1. It has first strike, which means it delivers its combat damage before any other creatures. <laughs> you see? Wow. Shut up. Fantastic. 
Just fantastic. You're fantastic. Thank you. You're not. I was just kidding. You're not fantastic. You can't take it back. Oh. Why are you the way that you are? Let's see if we can play it. Give me something good. Give me something good. Don't be a blueberry elf. I'll play that. What's the relative? What's the opinion of the relative strength of Babe? What's Babe? I think it's supposed to be Blood Red Elf. Where did the A come from? I don't know. And JTMS and Modern, their overall impact on the health of the format now that they've had time to be explored. I mean, like, they had, they've had a week and a half to be explored, and there's been no real events. But outside of that, I think they're still just fine. <laughs> I don't think either one of them is dominating the format in any way, shape, or form. Might have been autocorrect. But it didn't autocorrect JTMS to anything. So I think BABE is probably one of those weird acronyms that people make that don't really work, but they kind of make it work. Like the way people call Sakura Tribe Elder Steve because the initials are S-T-E. And so they just added a random V-E at the end. I don't understand it personally. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Nothing. Bull. Nice bullion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana. So we can actually plus you. Pew. Let's see if we hit something better. Oh, that's pretty good. You just don't play that. Now or never. Is it now or never? It is now or never. You're right, actually. Steves are snakes? What does that mean? Is that a serious thing? I don't think that's... That, that doesn't even make any sense. Steve Snake on Twitter. Bloodbird Elf is the better of the two unbans. I played against four J-Sticks in FNM last week, and the card did not... Yeah, that's exactly what I figured. That's That was my experience, too. My, my opponent played Jason. I could just kill it. I don't know. I don't know whether to play this or play this. I think this is actually better. We can do this now. And we can do this later if we have to. Oh, they're going to just kill it in response? That's cool. I figured they would, but... I mean, the less cards they have, the longer this guy's going to survive. So, Anyway, this is indestructible now, so... Whatever. Got YOLO. Him. YOLO. Got him. Got him. Do they have three cards in hand? I think they're going to kill our Chandra here. We might. I'm, I'm actually tempted to just double block to keep Chandra alive for another turn. Personally, I do think Bloodbird Elf is the better card because I think the format is faster than, than Jace wants it to be. I'm just going to double block. We either lose one Chandra or both of these guys, and I'd rather lose both of those guys. Actually, we could have blocked with one of these, too, I guess. Yeah, that would have been the better block. Looks like a target has a new target. A new challenger has emerged. Yeah, that would have been the better block. Um, Actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. We are one one shy. We can just make two red. Well, no, I wanted to make two red. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and we'd oh. still be two shy. We'd be one shy. So if we actually kept up... um, That was actually a good hit, though. That's... <laughs> Wow, that was fantastic. Kill you. Don't gain the life. Atarka your face. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I'm sitting here reading chat and talking to you guys, and you guys are getting upset with me for missing an onboard Wildwood, stirring Wildwood. It happens. That's life. Magic is... Magic mistakes are life. been a really back and forth game i haven't actually paid much attention to masters 25 it has been pretty back and forth i feel like our top this art we have a deck that's top end is much better than theirs right we won oh well i'll be i guess that answers that question bad company 
Till the day Mark dies. Armageddon might be good in this deck. Mm. Against this deck is what I meant to say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Wow. It doesn't end. That's amazing. I'll take Avacyn out. Maybe not. No, he has a bunch of removal spells. She seems good. Right, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking because I'm like, oh, they can just kill her in response. But if they play main phase like Necrotal and we play a Tarka, it seems pretty good. As much as I Avacyn. like Armageddon, we're never head on board, so I don't think it's actually good for us. All right, you want to smell like this? Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, okie dokie. So I don't know if I finished my statement, but I haven't I haven't looked at, mod at Masters 25 enough to know. <laughs> Jeez. Solid keeper. Um, I do like some of the inclusions. I saw, like, Blood Moon. I saw... I'm going to mulligan. You don't say. Much better. Oh, that's significantly better. Bloodbraid Elf hitting a an Ancestral Vision seems insane. That's so much... That puts you. I feel like that puts you so much further ahead than just a Jace. If I play Jace and Brainstorm and my opponent plays Bloodbraid Elf, flips into... Uh, I think we can bottom this. Flips into Ancestral Vision and kills my Jace. I feel like they are, they are so much farther ahead than me. That was a good draw. Ooh, no, no turn two play, huh? Well, that dude's dead. Never going to get it. That's pretty good. I wish we had more land. But I'm not going to wait to play this guy. I mean, they're just going to Necrotal slash Chupacabra here, I bet. But What up, Monsonster? Good seeing you, buddy. Monsonster, I also post in a Discord channel. I don't know if that's easier for people. What's the best way to, for me to, for, to find out that we're live? Well, that's awkward, isn't it? I'm totally going to get rid of that, though. They don't need to be having no underworld connections. Text me beforehand. <laughs> That's pretty gas. Oh, them bones. They do be reading. You ever read them bones? I never check my Twitch alerts unless I'm already watching Twitch. Interesting. It just goes to most people's phones, I think. Oh, wow. All right, so you get a lightning helix. That's fine. Otherwise, our hand's pretty, pretty gaseous. Give me a land here so I can go land. Noble Hierarch. That's not it, but I guess we'll take it. Not thrilled about it, but... Instead of a land, we'll give you the most expensive card in your deck. Well, that's similar. Thank you. 30 days notice in writing. Sorry, is that per stream? So every day I'll have to do that, do you think? Or what do you... Wow, okay. You're a good You're a good person. That's, that's represented by a bad person. I think we just lost this game because we literally... See, like, this is not an Ooh, Armageddon. Pigeon Courier. That's good. I like that. Oh, I see. You don't think you're going to cast anytime soon? I don't think we're going to cast anything anytime soon. This game seemed like it was really good for us until we literally couldn't hit lands. This is all graveyards? Yeah. Come on, Cancel. Oh, that's pretty good. So what they get like Noble Bird, Tireless Track of Hornet Queen. Yep. Yeah, I don't I'm not gonna deal with that. That wouldn't have done anything. So they go to seven. We draw battlement and play it. They go to eight. We go mountain. Elspeth. They ultimate. Yeah, that was pretty sad. I almost like taking out creatures for for planeswalkers here. I think your deck's fine. We just kinda... I think it is fine. We just got stuck on mana. I agree with you. Utopia's Sprawl might be better than one of these guys. I don't think we had a forest, though. 
No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no, not even close. I'm okay with this. Bad Michael B. Till the day I die. The good thing about Sun Titan is that it's always gonna hit. You're gonna take this path. You didn't take anything. All right, cool. It's always gonna. It's always gonna hit something because they don't. They don't XL our stuff. They just destroy it, which is nice. A stork. Oh my God. Stork you later. You're not storking anybody later, you pervert. God, double red. Double red curses us me. again. Next turn, Wildwood seems pretty good, though. Good enough to kill. Hypnotic Spectre? I will definitely kill a Hypnotic Spectre. Good enough to kill. It is good enough to kill. Nothing. Really nothing. I'm intrigued. This guy's dead. Oh, we got a got a dude. It was a planes. That's pretty good. I don't want to be drawing that. Really? This is where you want to be? Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line. That's old swag, Daddy. All right, here we go. So even if you wipe our board, we lose. This is already gone. So it's a, you lose two cards for two cards, and we get a beast. So that's actually pretty good for us. Any red mana, we can play this. Any any other mana, we can play this. And if they wipe the board and this dies, we, get, we have a target now. So that's pretty good. That's a big dude. Don't care, though. Daniel, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Take my money, you Mitch. Will do. Will do. Uh, no, I will not sacrifice anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dang. So close, man. Oh, well. See you later. Poop. Poop is right. Get in there. Do your thragging duty. Have we come to have we have we uh, have we all agreed on me sending letters for every? Uh... I think so. Well, that's interesting. Oh, they just probed us and took two. That seems good. Beverage of choice. I went to a freestyle machine, and it, it is a diet Barg's vanilla. Just pretty. It's pretty tasty. It tastes like a dessert. It's a what dessert. vintage is it? I don't know. It didn't say it on the machine. That's too bad. I was, I'm curious myself as to how old, how how aged the vanilla is in the in the oak casks. That sounds terrible. Wow, that's sad. Sure, I will discard a Chandra. Looks like she made it into the graveyard. Land. Dang it. Well, Tireless Tracker is getting discarded. Faux show. Both these guys are coming at Lily. And then if you block here, we can just get it back with Sun Titan. And we'll discard Tireless Tracker and have Karn liberate it up for next turn. Even if you wipe the board, we still get to keep with the Ragtus token, which is pretty good. Yep. See you later, Tracky. Oh, that's my little Tracky. And we can get that guy back with Sun Titan. Nope, no, we can't. All right. Well, that establishes that. 
Read the bones. Read them bones. That was uh that was Michael Bartholomew singing Read Them Bones. Four, five, six, seven. Should we just go after Liliana? If they want a single block, we can actually just plus Karn instead. I think actually no, we don't. We still get we still kill Liliana here, right? Yeah. So maybe we don't go after anything. Can also Helix it. It's true, but then like if they have any other discard spell, Karn doesn't do anything. So if we attack, they just block with Chubacabra. Whatever, I think this is fine. Gets a do off the board. Yep, exactly what we thought. And now we can just get rid of Liliana here. We don't have any blockers, but Karn should be fine at one. Presumably. And then we can just start plussing. I have five cards though. That's a lot. This is nothing like our first round where we had no cards. Karn has gone to one. You doing okay over there? Yeah, right. Like, even if they have a way to kill Karn, like, we we, we still got a Planeswalker out of it. So, it's still a two for one. They don't really have any haste, guys. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. If we get a Hornet Queen, this guy doesn't do much for us right now. At least we don't have any swamps. Gifted Aetherborn, huh? I guess that's true. No Swamp Arenas. Let's get Mountain Forest. Mountain Forest. I'm not going to keep cards in hand because they do have discard spells. Uh, and also because... Oh, Chupacabra. That's pretty good. We figured out why we didn't want the Chupacabra in the graveyard now. That is fine. We're just going to block with the wall here. Having Karn in play to exile their shielder is significantly better. I guess that's not an option. Never didn't have it. Seems good. Yeah, their five cards were pretty strong. Yeah, I think we're actually dead here. Well, if you're both going at Karn, sure. I don't actually know how to beat a shielder in here. I mean, if we can if we can top deck swords, it'd be cool. Now it's worse. Alright. Wow, nice hand. Mm, it's not gonna do it. Eleven, twelve, three, forty, fifteen. Hornet Queen would be good. Especially more so now. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We could take 10 and go to 15. Which is probably what we're going to have to do here. Although they have shouldered, which is pretty awkward. Do we have anything else that deals 3? Uh, not really. Yep, empty it up. Take 13. That's not going to do it, right? Block here, 5, 6. We're not dead. 
Actually, we, they get the Necrotal back, so... Yep. That's pretty bad. Yeah, this is awkward. Hornet Queen still does pretty good here. Five here, six, seven, nine, ten. We go to five. There we go to seven, I guess. Sure. What up, Aqua Jern? Thank you so much for saying so, buddy. I appreciate it. All right, let's let's Hornet Queen. That's not going to do it. All right. Well, not great. <sighs> Dang. What was a mistake there? What, did we, what could we have done differently? Not lost. I didn't even think about that. You're right. I think attacking with Drag Tusk was probably bad because it put the Necrotal into the graveyard. Oh, this hand seems rough. But is it, though? It's got all of our colors. We got high end. I'll keep this hand. We're on the draw. There's no way the top card's going to be a land, right? Just zero. I guess we'll find out. Good one. Lone Island, no play. All right. All right. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I like your Matthew McConaughey. That was good. All right, all right. All... Ooh, nothing on turn two either. How many counter spells do you think they have? One. <clears throat> exactly one. Frank Laporg being home with Emerald. Nice. What do we... Oh, wow. Perfect lands. They all come into play untapped. Maybe you do. Mm -hmm. Still no play from them. Man. All right, now they have two counter spells. They missed a land drop, though, which is pretty cool. Oh, did we just do that? It's going to whiff, right? It's got to be a Johnny, right? Johnny's about to get countered. Oh yeah, hard, hard, hardcore countered. Or they're gonna lose. Sure. They didn't lose. <laughs> they didn't lose. I like Avison here, right? Oh my god, the math. Oh, they missed another land drop. Dang. Dang. I'm just gonna pass and play Avison. And then if they counter that, we can go Marari's Wake, Overgrown Battlement. If you install a one-way neural link between you and I and you just micromanage my whole life, I probably won't miss any more streams. That seems good. I can get behind that. Anything to help out, buddy. I'm here for you. It's the least that we can do. Flashing 4-4 white flyers in at the end of your opponent's turn is real weird. Negate and remove soul. Two narrow buddies. But together. They, they make strong. They make two narrow buddies. I also have a mana leak, you know. They didn't. Wow. Having a good time. Wow, that's amazing. Look at this one five wall. Oh, did you haven't you haven't heard that joke yet? No. Oh, that's pretty funny. Oh, a land tax, eh? More like land schmacks. Don't forget to tip your waitress. No one's tipping anybody, okay? What are they for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen? We have fifteen. Rude. In? You're rude. You know what? Tell You're me. You're rude. Tell me about rudeness. Do you want to counter my four three? Uh, no thanks. Of course that was the card. 
I would have even been happy with Banishing Light there because of land tax. I would have had Lightning Helix because it goes to the face. Oh boy, Connor Ryan. Oh boy. That is the thing. I'm just going to attack for 8 here. That feels like a good amount. I don't want to throw Sun Titan out there when we can not throw it out there instead. Here comes the Swords slash Path. Nothing? They have nothing. Okay, that's awkward. I think it's great. Would you recommend a Legacy Cube draft? I'm not super familiar with the cards. Um, I want to say yes because they're super fun. And I think you, you'll you get more familiar with them once you do it more often. But I'm not sure what your threshold is for how many cube drafts you'll do. Also, I'm going to be posting a bunch. So if you'd feel more comfortable watching a few of mine and then then doing your own, I think that's also a good a good idea. So they got land, but they didn't do anything with it. Do they have an Avacyn? Does it matter? You might say they did nothing. <laughs> I would say that. Why does this guy have Defender? Why can't I just be attacking for one? Here comes Cryptic Command. I'm going to feel bad because I... Nope. Okay. Okay. Even if they have Avacyn, like both of these guys kill Avacyn. Ain't got no stinking Avacyn. What if they do? They don't. Oh, they had it. <laughs> they don't. Oh, they had it. <laughs> oh, look, there it is. Well, I mean, I guess she eats this. That That's deal. whatever. Isn't it though? This is a seven-seven Sun Titan. I think we just play it out there. Like, if they're gonna kill, what are they gonna trade? They're gonna they're gonna wrath of God, and then we still have four four stirring Wildwood. After having watched all the vintage cube drafts, I'm crushing my friends in our proxy vintage. That sounds awesome, dude. Glad to hear it. Are you dead? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Get back, Sun Titan. Should have cracked this first. I'm real bad at magic. Yeah, that would be ideal. I just didn't want to play more lands. Like I wanted to save them for like a uh, tireless tracker in case we get a tireless tracker. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. Yeah, that would have been ideal. Blah, 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 cool. Can you say that again? Yeah, that would have been ideal. Blah, 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 yeah, thank you. Yeah, did I do uh, do what you wanted me to? What what we job. wanted? What? Did his job. They took our jorbs. Are you gonna attack with your Avacyn and then wipe the board? The Borg. You better. Does this guy have reach? No, he's literally flying with a bunch of birds, but he doesn't have reach. Sounds good. Totally not. Why are there so many cards that have birds in them, but the creature's not in reach? Dang. How many lanes do we have to get? Four? That's a good amount. I feel comfortable with that amount. Just this guy, unfortunately. Do you 
go to one. I crack lands all day, boy. Do I have a pump spell? You gonna kill it? Seems good. Avacyn number two. Restoration Angel. Blink your Avacyn. Not Angel, so it's not gonna work. Two dudes. Interesting. Just chump block? Are you just chump block? Man, he's leaving that counter spell up alright. No joke. Yeah, that is a that is a strong tell, my friend. Lucky for us, we don't have any other plays. Got him. No, this lady flips though. That's pretty good. It's all right. It's annoying. She's a six five, so our wildwood just dies to it, and that's unfortunate. Other guy dies anyway. Don't matter. It also doesn't have Vigilance now, so it's weird if they attack, because then we can just kill them. Maybe? Probably not. I don't think mountains are my favorite land, sir. I don't... I, I didn't want to break it to you like this, but... I just have to... But there's a quote. I just have to be honest. Quotes never lie. Yes, obviously I understand art. I understand that the birds are a perspective thing and they're trying to give you a size re reference. The point is, you don't need to give a size reference if the, if the creature isn't large enough to block flying creatures. That's what we're getting at here. Once a creature is big enough that you need a, a bird as a reference point, it should block. It should be blocking creatures fly with flying. That's what I'm saying here. Hey, they dealt with our dude. They sure did, and they got to keep their counter spell up. This deck felt real good in game one, and then less less good in the games. The the the. the it was great too. We get to attack for four and then die. That's true. That helps. All right. Could have blocked, played a Tarka, killed this. Maybe we would have survived, but there's no way they don't have a counter spell. So. I think this is an Armageddon matchup, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's good against... I don't want them to spells. ever have things that are in play. I'll take the wake out. I don't want them to have things that are in play. I don't want to have them have things that are in play. I'm going to bring Reclamation Sage in, too. For what? At least Land Tax and Oblivion Ring that we saw. Is that good Fair. enough for you? Yeah. It's all right. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay. Alright. Oh, this is a good hand. Two three drops? Yes, please. And they went to six, they're basically dead. Wow. Roast seems pretty pretty bad. We haven't seen a single creature that could target with a roast. Can't target floaters, so. Roast can't hit float. The roast can't float. She roasts in mysterious ways. Don't force spike me, bro. They didn't get wrecked. Connor Ryan, roast doesn't prevent flying, buddy. Come on. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, interesting. What are the odds they have a counter spell? A million. One million. Well, let him. Oh, girl! Do we attack? Oh, no, we can actually crack the clue. We're going to sack a land, crack the clue. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. Sack clues in mysterious ways. I do know what you mean. I'm just giving you a hard time. Michael B. Michael B. All right. Michael B. Michael B. Let's get rid of one of these plan planes. 
Let's go. Let's get a copper line gorge. Let's get another clue. Crack clue number one. Or number two. I don't really care. Either way. I I'm not gonna be picky about which clue we're cracking here. Always crack, a, crack a crack of clues. I don't know what you're doing right now. Oh, that was a good that was a good draw. Look at all these lands we're getting. Don't wrath me, bro. If you if you wrath me, I'll never forgive you. What are the odds this guy gets countered? Seventy six percent. I mean, you better. He's just like dead. Yeah, if Johnny resolves, you you don't you don't get to play another turn. So. Oh, oh yeah, you're boy. Dead. Keep your colony tapped. That's the thing. Well, see you later. You gonna condemn this guy? What are you doing here? What do you do? One blue. What do you have? One blue vapor snag. No. Nothing. Interesting. All right. Well, that was the thing. I guess. I guess we could have cracked a clue here to dealt another damage. I guess we still can if they don't go to damage yet. They did. Okay. Well, see you later. Man. A Johnny is scary. Let's keep getting clues. Seems good against the blue-white deck. Oh, how about a Wooded Foothills? Clue? How many clues are you going to let us get? The answer is a lot. Forced. Draw. This is beautiful. Five, 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 four. Ooh, even better. Hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We crack another clue, and then we can actually almost kill them if they don't have a thing to do here. Into the royal. I guess that's fine. Pretty boring, but fine, I guess. Well, keep you tapped, because that's how you do. I like how you didn't leave a planes up. That was good. I got a little hierarchy right here. Oh, true. Got a little amateur over here. I don't even know what these cards do. I know nothing. Oh, face Fantaru. Yeah, I guess that's fine. If we swords this guy, do we get to kill you? Six. I'm pretty sure we just kill you if we swords this guy. Wow. That was really loud. Did you guys hear that burp? That was literally across the house. Opposition up people in the finals, huh? Opposition isn't really a fair card. But it is a good card. So our opponent's dead, right? They might be. Well, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Oh, that'll do. Oh, that. Do we just play Armageddon and kill them for 10 exactly? Oh, wow. 
that's pretty funny. Or do we hide it? What's the what's the what's the play here, I think guys? We hide it. Oh god, the flavor points are so real though. Alright, we'll hide it. We could have literally made ten ten attack you for exaxes. Alright, that'll do. Cool. Oh man. That would have been good though. Kill everything. <laughs> Sarah. Why? Also, Nahiri might be better than Nahiri's probably better than like Chandra here. Um Maybe not. No, I don't think so. Yeah. If it was game three, yes, we would have gotten, but it was not. So they have at least face fetters, oblivion ring, and land tax. I don't know. Maybe we want the Nahiri too. Nahiri might be better than Bloodbraid Elf here. Bloodbraid Elf is just a dirty creature. Nahiri actually gives us a lot of options here. It gets rid of extra lands. I like Nahiri better than Bloodbraid Elf. Okay, boss. Okay, boss. All right, I just got off a two-hour phone call. Someone give me a quick rundown of what I missed. Wow. A two-hour phone call? Jeez. Good Lord. Phone, phones are dangerous. Do we keep this hand? I don't know. It's pretty borderline. It's pretty slow. It is slow, and I think it's I think it's borderline and slow. I think Give you're right. Him, like a lot of time to set up, and just counter all our things. It does have two planeswalkers in it though, which is pretty good. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna see what happens. If we draw any ramp like card, I think it's good. No beats. Congrats, buddy. Well done. That's not what we're looking for, but I'll take it. It does let us play this guy, and which lets us play this guy, or this guy, or this guy. What are you doing right now? Making pig nose. Making pig nose. Michael Bartholomew, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, honesty. What? That was a good draw. Now we got to turn three into a turn four. I mean, I would have preferred a noble hierarch on turn one so we can play that, but you know. I would have preferred a million dollars. Okay, well, yes, if it's noble hierarch on turn one or a million dollars, I will go with the million dollars, sure. Too late, you already said what you would do. Oh, God, you're right, I did. What an idiot. Yeah, maybe next time you think about it. Maybe I will, but maybe also I won't. Did you ever think about that? No. That's unfortunate. I've never thanked before. Dissolve. Seems good. Let's play the how many counter spells do they have game. Well, they're at one. So dissolve, we've seen negate and essence scatter already. Yes. No, remove soul. Same thing. Well, if they could have both. They probably do. Okay. What do we what do we play next turn? Garrick or Chandi? I think Garrick. I'd rather have a Shandi than a Garrick. So right. I'm to lead with Garrick. Yep. Good call. Boy, you so smart. Wow. God dang it! Oh, we got Mana Tithe. Come on. How are they gonna have that when we've already seen somebody have it? Hmm. Leagues, my friend. I know, but still, it just feels wrong. It does feel wrong. You're right. Oh no beats Chad Chad Bradbury with the with the gifted sub. What a man. What a man, what a man, what a man, what a man if I'm man. Oh boy, we did it. Nice. Don't be like a good card. Planes perfect. Watch, they're gonna play We're not gonna F six here because they're gonna play Avicen and we're just gonna pass it. And that's going to be their response to Chandra. Oh, they didn't do that. Okay. Well, they're just going to Banishing Light it then. Or Oblivion Ring. Chad Bradbury, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. And no beats. Welcome. 
Welcome here. Welcome here. As Michael Michael Barbablyboo would say. Welcome here. Rashad in port. Port some sugar on me. The name of the... Are you going to tap down my Razor Verge ticket? Yeah, congratulations. We're all very proud of you. All right, let's see what we can get here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll, get, I'll free card it. Another planes. All right. Let's just Thrag Tusk here. Sure. Don't be counter my Thrag Daddy. I got to remove some. Wow, that resolves two? What are your four cards? Not very good, apparently. This is very strange. Yeah, for anybody who's subscribed but hasn't done so, be sure to connect your Twitch account and your Discord account because you get an invitation to the subscriber Discord channel, which is super cool. I enjoy it greatly. And not just because it's mine. What is this? What is this you're going to do? Sure. Let me get a Rex Sage right off the top. That'd be so sick, right? That would be a pretty sick. Oh, a mountain instead. Well, that was great. Thank you. Thank you. Keep exiling, right? Yeah. Because that ultimate is impossible to beat. You're right. <sighs> Can't cast. Boo -hoo. That's rough. Yeah. No oh, well. I mean, they're in. They're in. A, they're on a pretty short clock here. They have to either deal with the Chandra or deal with the Thrag Tusk, or they can play Ugin and deal with both. I guess. Ugin would be throw up time. Well, they'd have to go negative five. We'd still get a guy from this because it leaves the battlefield, not dies, yeah. and then we can okay. follow up with Avacyn. So all of that's pretty okay. They're also at nine, and we still have Wildwood on board. I think we'd actually be just fine. We'd actually probably just untap and kill them if we if they play Ugin. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Biovision has to has to go to the dentist because she cracked her tooth on some crispy wings. That's how crispy they were. They were so crispy that she actually chipped a tooth. It was pretty unbelievable to be honest. The game feels like it's over, but I don't know. There's really strong blue-white cards in the cube, so, like... Pour some Mitches on me in the name of love. You got some liquid Mitches? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? Just making noises because that's all you know how to do is just make some noises. Oh, really? That's fine. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ultimate this Chandra if you don't have an answer for. Her. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't know what that ultimate does. What if they have? Oh God. What if they have? What's the? Is the? How do I find out the cube list? Just look it up. Entering. Entering. It is disallow in the cube. Full cube list. Disallow I'd be, is, is. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. Nope, doesn't look like it is. Is it DISS? No, because it's not. No. It's DIS allow. Disallow. I'm just going to pass here and assume that they're not. We're just going to play Avacyn, right? Quarantine field is not flash. Nimble obstructionist is possible. But. <laughs> I 
Oh, God. They have two cards. Is one of them Nimble Obstructionist? I'd likely cry. Or we can just deal them two. And plus. Oh, you're just going to do something now. Vendillion click? Oh, into the Royal? Sure. Who cares? Give me a land so I can actually replace Chandra and attack with Wildwood. It's not really a land, but... I mean, what'd that do, really? Like, nothing. I guess we could have also uh, activated with that, but it's 2 damage instead of 3 damage, and we still get to play something else here, which is pretty good. One funny thing we can do is kill this guy to flip Chandra, or to flip Avacyn if we run into deal the 3 damage. Is it is it Reach or is it Knight? It's gotta be Knight, right? Knight seems better. I don't really need mana anymore. You right. Must be Knight. Whatever that means. Nobody knows. I don't know either. Nobody. It doesn't look like this allows in the queue. Oh, it's on the text. Oh, I didn't look at the whole thing. Okay. I was literally looking on one page. Apparently it's spread out over f six different pages. Jeez. So, yep, it is in here. Okay, cool. Tapaland. Nahiri, huh? Okay. 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 Uh, booga, 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 booga. Uh, excuse me, what? Booga, 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 goo. Okay. Do we oh. just attack with this stupid stirring wildwood too? Why don't you just booga, goo? Okay. I'm actually just not because if they have cryptic command, they want to tap down our team. Uh, I don't want them to do that, so. Pretty sure they have Avacyn, but we have Path, and they have one card if they do have an Avacyn. They also didn't tap down our Stirring Wildwood. Two cards. We have to say they have two cards. Oh, God. This is three, four, six. Oh, God. What is this? Oh, so it's, is this Secure the Waste for like a million? Probably. Is it Decree of Justice? That's not in the, that's not in the cube. What does Secure the Waste do? Oh. Okay. Well, we get to Nahiri here, which is pretty nice. So we get to actually Nahiri and Chandra. Why wouldn't they just play it for... Why would they keep this untapped? This is all very strange to me. So they draw a bunch of cards and it buys them a turn. Yeah, I'll play that. So we're just going to put three Planeswalkers, two Planeswalkers on the board, I guess. In the name of love, pour some sugar on me. Tireless is in the graveyard. We'll just play the land. Oh, people's fine. It actually leaves us with a guy. It's actually not fine. It's actually pretty bad. Oh, God. Please don't know people. That's not enough people. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You actually don't play. You play that after upheaval, right? If you have upheaval, you're not going to play Solemn Simulacrum pre-upheaval. It Probably seems not. terrible. You just float the mana and play it after. Settle the Wreckage is in the cube, which is a little scary. Not when they tap all but... Oh, wait, never mind. They have Lotus. They have Lotus. Reclamation Sage one time off the tippity top of Ruski. Oh, we can just Nahiri. Well, it's not tapped, though. Get a discard. What are they doing with their lives? 
Rex Sage. That's not a Rex Sage. Maybe we'll find one on top. A Chandra. That is not a Rex Sage. I don't even want to cast that. You don't got it. Yeah, I'd rather just heal them too. So if we give one of these dudes float. And jump the knight. And jump this guy instead. Because if they do have if they do have settle, I don't really want to lose both of my good creatures. Nothing's gonna resolve, right? I would think not. Don't have settle, I guess. Oh, here we go. Oh, three blue. That's not three white. Okay. I'm intrigued. Four. Five. Six. How many, what what are you doing? Oh. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. Turman Blutter, and thanks so much for the sub, man. I really appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess we still just play two planeswalkers. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to exile their Gilded Lotus here. We get a beast. Land. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They want to counter this so bad. I want to play everything but Chandra here because I think they have Negate. Turn on Blood Moon. Thank you so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. All right. Your move. How's it gonna be? Oh, you're just gonna cycle your old sensor. Okay. I thought this was six cards in their deck. I was like, oh, that seems good. Chandra would have been strong, but I'm pretty sure they have a counter spell. They showed us negate in game one, so I don't want to really walk into a negate in game two. I think Chandra is the strongest of these three planeswalkers when they're at six. Three upticks and they, it kills them. So, also Elspeth's real good. Just forcing them to deal with all of our creatures is pretty good. That dude needs to calm down. His level of sass is super high. Sean John, that's what it was. I couldn't remember what it was. Sean John, Torch of Defiance. Can you guys hear this dog? Yeah, you like dags? Can you hear Hunter right now? He's super loud. They can't have Cyclone. Like, they have four minutes and we have 11 minutes. Sure, that's sad. Not overly impactful, though. Just kind of sad. Also, we, if we path their Psalm Simulacrum, it just prevents them from... Instead of drawing a card, they get a land, which is pretty good. Why do I feel like they're going to try to get rid of my soldier, too? Probably then try to kill the hearing. That's a good dude. That is a good, good dude. Good dude. Everything is all right. Up tight. Oh, he's definitely a good doggo. But he's just being real real ornery right now. Oh, no attack? Wait, so I can just jump this dude and you almost have to block? That's intriguing. It's going to be a land. We're due for a land. 
That's not a land at all. We don't have a lot of lands left in our deck. You don't have a lot of lands left in your face. It's true. I removed them all. That's interesting. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't I? Well. Yeah. I hadn't considered that, man. I didn't think so. Get in there for four. This is a good trade. Yep. All right. So we get to resolve a Chandra here. Interesting. Three Planeswalkers seems good. Oof. Yeah, I would have just added two red there, but... But it doesn't do anything. Yeah, but, you know, you want to exile some... Yeah, but I want to deal two because they're at four. Oh, sure. Um, what are we discarding? Knight? Or we can discard nothing, I guess. Yeah, so we have three... We have three Planeswalkers. They're at four with three minutes on the clock, and they have a Mana War in play. I think that's pretty good. Just don't bait. And we have a man land. A creature land, if you will. I think we won this game, but... Unless we didn't. Oh, a land tax. With two cards left in hand? You Sphinxes revved and we have more cards than you do? That's crazy. What are the odds? Pretty good, because they uh, played Cyclonic Rift, I guess. Who are you coming at? Chandra? Yeah, that's... It's good, but that ain't going to do it, I don't think. Let's see if one of your two cards gets rid of my Stirring Wildwood. No, I'm not going to play that. I'm good. Oh, uh, this guy. Oh, you're going to tap it down. It's pretty good. Strategy. I like it. Thrag boy. Got two cards in hand. Matt. This is indeed the legacy cube. Uh, make a dude. Uh, exile your last creature that we care about. Your move, sir. Terminus off the top. <laughs> wow. Oh. What in the earth, dude? How oh. do I do that surprised me? I mean, he's still dead. Maybe. Bears, beat, How did I... Star Galactica. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? How did I just say terminus off the top and he has a terminus off the top? That's your superpower. Hunter, what do you want? I don't understand. That one was just a random shot in the dark. I just set a card that I thought about. I didn't even think it would be that good. That's really awkward. What are you doing? So wait, we just activate Chandra and you're dead? That's what's happening yes. here? Yes. I'm going to do that. Can you let me do that? No? I just want to do... Where's my Eldrazi's? That's a, I mean, you got eight cards left. Jeez. Uh, oh, hold on. Let's, no, I don't want to risk that. <laughs> I was like, no, let's cast it and then just shoot him in the face. But Man, no, then, the they just, real. then he counters a Johnny and you're like, oh, this is awkward. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, smash those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time.